Let's sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. In his presence are majesty and splendor, strong and honor in his holy place. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Every day we should grow up in our faith. So today on Friday, when we thank God for salvation, we ask him for our faith. We ask him that he help us to live in the world and to be good witness of Jesus' love. Brothers and sisters, <clears throat> let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. My Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son we may abound in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and is with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Remember the days past when after you had been enlightened, you endured a great contest of suffering. At times you were publicly exposed to abuse and affliction. At other times you associated yourselves with those so treated. You even joined in the sufferings of those in prison and joyfully accepted the confiscation of your property knowing that you had a better and lasting possession. Therefore, do not throw away your confidence. It will have great recompense. You need endurance to do the will of God and receive what he has promised. For after just a brief moment, he who is to come shall come. He shall not delay. But my just one shall live by faith, and if he draws back, I take no pleasure in him. We are not among those who draw back and perish, but among those who have faith and will possess life. The word of the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant your heart's requests. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Commit to the Lord your way. Trust in him, and he will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light. Bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. By the Lord are the steps of a man made firm, and he approves his way. Though he fall, he does not lie, lie prostrate, for the hand of the Lord sustains him. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in time of distress. 
and the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The Lord be with you. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to the crowds, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land, and would sleep and rise night and day, and the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. Of his own accord the land yields fruit, first the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wants the sickle at once, for the harvest has come, he said. To what shall we compare the kingdom of God, or what parable can we use for it? It is like a master of seed that, when it is sown in the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it's sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants and puts forth large branches, so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to, to he spoke the word to them, as they were able to understand it. With other parables, he did not speak to them, but to his own disciples he explained everything in private. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, the first reading reminds us that our faith also needs to grow and there will be challenges and difficulties. It also reminds us that we will need endurance to do God's will and gain what God has promised us. We are reminded not to be drawn back by challenges and difficulties and to be lost by, the, by it. Like the gospel parables about the seeds. Let us keep faithful to the grace God has given us and strive to bear fruits of love in our lives. We can say that the kernel of each kingdom parable describes in some way the reality of heaven and all the church and all the Christian souls. Each of these three have a clear relation, relation to Jesus. The reality of heaven, the life of the church, and the nature of the Christian soul. The change from the smallest of all the seeds to the largest of plants seems more easily applied to the church and the Christian soul than to heaven. Tertullian wrote that the blood of the martyrs is the seed of the church, a phrase through which we can see how this parable applies to the church. With God, all things are possible. From a natural death springs supernatural life. We may see Jesus himself as the kingdom. He offers his friendship to us through the sacraments. He makes our life easier because he helps us to do what is right. He makes death a joy once we get beyond the dying. Then 
He will welcome us into eternal life. Let us present to our loving God the needs of our community and those of the world. For God's holy church, may she be strengthened by the Holy Spirit to follow the Lord with focus and zeal. Let us pray to the Lord. For the world, May God guide the leaders of all nations in protecting the dignity and sanctity of human life. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who suffer from feeling inadequate or unworthy, may they find peace in God's providence and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord for peace and justice in our homes and communities. May he who is acclaimed as beloved son dwell in our hearts and fill us with his peace. Let us pray to the Lord for all who have died, especially today we pray for Tony Fenso. May they soon rest in the eternal light and peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. And for our private intentions which we keep in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, Hear the prayers we bring to you in humi humility and answer them in your gracious mercy. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you. Lord, God of our creation, for through our goodness we have received the bread we offer you from out the earth and work of human hands, you have become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of our creation, for through our goodness we have received the wine we offer you from our divine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that may sacrifice in yours be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may be profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you form it in you. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all their dim praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. 
Therefore, we to extol you with all the angels. As in joyful celebration, we acclaim holy, holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered the willing into station, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The master of faith, save us. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer, Lord, the book of life and the choice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity, together with friends, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and other clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of our faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have peace to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be heirs to eternal life, and may present and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And the service come and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look on our sins. That the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We your name forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. 
Let us have it under the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Almighty God, bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.